living in theaters like Dayton City and going to Skyline College, you're exposed to different cultures. With this uh, mural painting class was good because it exposes you to a different kind of art. Being a resident of Daly City, it was a good opportunity for me to be able to show my artwork in the community. It means that the community uh, sees the college as something that is part of their support system and part of their, I don't know, network, like the way you use your family in order to support yourself and to support your efforts and to push you forward. They see the college in that, in that same way. So I think it's really important for us to be there. The original reason why I started this class was because I had a background in mural street art. So I wanted to be able to engage the community with the students how I was in my own practice. The other reason was is I noticed that there was like a huge material cost for students to purchase supplies for this course. It could be anywhere from $100 to $200. So what I did is I linked up with a partner, Cypher, at Skyline College, and they provide us funding for materials every semester. But because I buy all the materials in bulk, I was able to spend about $200 for the entire class as opposed to each student. Any art classes that I've taken in the past, uh, it's always been a, a pretty similar structure. And this, I felt like it was my very first time when um, in a class I had an opportunity to go outside of the class. Doing the types of projects where you did the art projects throughout the community, it helps the community uh, have a different relationship beyond consumerism to the college. The mural project's different from other class projects because we actually got to go outside of class and learn more about the Daily City community. I got to learn from my peers and working with other people is just a fun experience for me and to better myself as an artist. I got to develop a friendship with my classmates. While, you know, I, I also enjoy a great academic lecture, it transformative teaching and learning just broadens that spectrum of the possibilities. And so a project like this is absolutely an example of transformative teaching and learning. When I think about this particular project uh, with the Daily City Boxes, I thought it was a great opportunity for me to grow as an artist, as well as contribute in a way to the city in a positive way. Being able to go to like City Hall, you know, uh, being able to sit through the entire process, putting in the idea and having, having the meeting with the committee, that was a good experience. And you, you could teach what you did on those boxes in your classroom, um, but they may have missed the opportunity to be, be engaged in those many, many ways on those multiple levels that even you as a faculty member couldn't have come up with you know, until you get in the middle of them. <laughs>
it's critical to the mission of the college. We say we want to empower and transform a global community of learners. We can't do that kind of work. We, that, is, that is a huge feat. We can't do that kind of work if we are not connected to the community and if we are not known to the community and appreciated by the community and if we are not supportive of the community and given to the community just as much as the community is given to us. artwork displayed around our community and culture and even looking at how to research and, and, and not just kind of put anything up but looking into the community needs a whole lot so I just want to say thank you um, I hope we have more boxes <laughs>